He wrote his first computer program around the age of six. In graduate school, he licensed technology from the University of Washington and used it to start a company. And in 2011, he was honored with the MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. His name is Shwedek Patel, and he's not yet 30 years old. One of the things that really drives me is, at the end of the day, I, I like to have fun. And if I'm not having fun, it's not what I want to do. Shwedek heads up the ubiquitous computing research lab on the UW campus. Known as Ubicomp, the lab is a mashup of computer science and electrical engineering with a little mechanical engineering, material science, and other disciplines thrown in for good measure. The goal of what we do is really looking at how computing technology and computer science and electrical engineering can play a role in solving really important problems like energy and health. I just can't believe this one is so noisy. Look how broadband that thing is. The lab's work is a reflection of Schwedek's personal philosophy and out-of-the-box thinking. That means the research here has real-life applications, and it takes advantage of systems and devices that are readily available. Okay, breathe in. Keep on breathing in. Yeah. In development is a program for people who need to monitor lung capacity. To augment an expensive and bulky medical monitoring device, the lab is figuring out how to use the microphone and computing power of a cell phone. One of the philosophies is leverage the existing infrastructure out there, right? You know, one thing is the already ubiquitous mobile phone, right? So one project we're working on is using the mobile phone as a health sensor. You can't really come up with new solutions unless you try to attack the problem from a different angle. Another line of research is designing a sensing system to monitor energy and water use in a home. What we've been doing is looking at ways that we can make devices that are, are easy to deploy and they give you a lot of information about how much energy you're consuming so people can make better decisions about that. It turns out each water fixture and every appliance in a home produces noise at predictable frequencies. So when the complex fluorescent light bulb turns on, uh, it occupies this particular frequency band. Armed with this knowledge, the Ubicomp team developed a sensor system and computer interface that's elegantly simple. Plug an electrical sensor into any outlet install a water sensor on a single faucet, then use a computer program to interpret the resulting frequencies and display the transmitted information. I think that kind of falls in line with the spirit of the work that we're doing, is taking advantage of these existing factors in the environment that you can get the signal from. And so the power line, the plumbing are all sources to get the signal. But it turns out the human body is actually a really nice broadband antenna between a certain frequency band. Yeah, you heard that right. In collaboration with Microsoft Research, the team is looking at reading and using the electromagnetic interference, or EMI, received by the human body to interact with computers. One day, Microsoft Connect systems might not need a camera to follow gamers' movements. The idea is you always have this EMI noise being radiated from the environment, and the body actually is picking this up. So can we figure out how we can detect different motion and gestures by just picking up the signal on the body? While the Ubicomp Labs research can have commercial applications, some of their work might end up distributed through open sourcing or even nonprofit organizations. Schwedek's personal philosophy is to solve real problems and get those solutions into the hands of those who need them. One of the things that we focus more on is looking at ways to have impact. How do you actually make these devices and technologies available to the general population and public? And at the same time, you're having fun doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>